there's one type of person I can't stand, it's someone called morons. <clears throat> morons can piss me off to no end. Hell, even the presidents of the United States can piss me off. Like the future president, Hillary Clinton, with her stupid M-rated video game wall, known as the Family Entertainment Protection Act. Mainly is supposed to for a federal mandate enforcement of the ESRB rating system for video games in order to protect children from inappropriate content. And that the Family Entertainment Protection Act would impose fines for of a thousand dollars or one hundred hours of community service for the first time offense of selling a mature adult only rated video game to a minor. I just have a question for that stupid bitch. Do you really think that video games already on, uh, is only meant for children? Ch video games are for, meant for everyone. The reason why there's inappropriate content in which it's not meant for children is because such games like that is meant for, oh, I don't know, what are they called? Oh yes, for mature gamers only! What is wrong with you? I mean, God! It's people like you, like parents for example, that buy these games for the kids. And of course they're gonna buy them off, because you're not monitoring them as you should be. Besides, you're called a parent! God! And the reason why she's saying this bullshit is she thinks that video games are the cause of violence to children. Oh no! You know what I say? Bullshit! Some say that children can be influenced on that kind of stuff. Well, here's the thing. Don't buy that shit for your kids. And two, if you actually accidentally bought that thing for your kid, take it back to the store, make sure you blame it on yourself, and make sure the next time you monitor your kid. It's not that hard. It's not that big of a deal. Really. I mean, what pisses me off about this stupid ass bill is that instead of the parents taking responsibility of their actions, oh no, let's let the US government take our jobs and do it for us. It's like the parents is being baby fed by their own government just like a parent. Wow, what be freaking do? Hey parents, how about you take more fucking responsibility your fucking self? I mean seriously. If you can't take responsibility for your kids, then put your children up for adoption. And what pisses me off to no fucking end is that a parent, whenever they try to buy a, a mature rated video game or any type of video game whatsoever, they don't even read the fucking rating system. Meaning, Hillary Clinton, don't blame video games. Blame the parents that doesn't know how to do the job as parents. I mean, seriously, think about this. If you're a parent, you can't keep up with a simple thing like game ratings. It's like telling a potential employer, I have work experience, but don't want to face new challenges. I mean, at case in point, they're just lazy little bitches that just want to whine and moan just so that they can get attention. It's fucking bullshit. And according to Hillary Clinton, she claims that it took 40 years of research to find out violent media is bad. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? I could have figured that out in about like, oh I don't know, about a minute or two, and that's why we have the rating system. It's so that parents are to read it, so that way they can know what type of game, or for example, movies, what type of movie they're going to get for their kid. Seriously, it's not that hard. It's not rocket science, people. And she makes this stupid bullshit on how all the games have all inappropriate content. Not all video games do. Oh, let me recall, Super Mario Galaxy, does it have inappropriate content? No. Does it, the Super Smash Bros. Brawl have inappropriate content? It's a teens game, but no. And does Super Mario Brothers for the NES have any inappropriate content whatsoever? FUCK NO! Besides, some video games are meant for children, some video games are meant for teens, and some video games are for adults. Why can't it get it through their heads? I mean, 
Think about it. The only thing we can look up to right now is the ESRB radio system in which it works for some several people, but for some idiot who doesn't know how to read, like soccer moms, would buy it, let their kid play it, then realize what the fuck the kid's playing, then they'll go all crazy like it's the end of the world and blame the company for it when mainly it's the parents' fault. Oh, here's a good one. If you're enforcing a law like that, in which it, sh it already exists in the first place, case in point, the SRB rating system, why aren't you doing the same thing on the movies? Kids are also going to get movies easily because the parents aren't going to be monitoring them. Answer that, Hillary Clinton, bitch! I mean, seriously, I can't stress this enough. If you're a parent that's going to buy a game or movie or anything particular besides video games and all that shit, make sure you read a goddamn writing system! A writing system is not hard to read from the goddamn front! All you do is read it, then look at the back, then see if that type of game is good for your children! God! It's not fucking rocket science! For God's sake, be responsible and be a goddamn parent! Ugh! It's your goddamn fault for having this stupid wall up in the first place because you're so afraid that children are going to be scarred for life all because of a fun video game when mainly you should just take it back, take the blame, and grow the fuck up and move the fuck on in life! Seriously! Are you that stuck up over a simple video game? There are worse things in life than just, oh, I don't know, video games. I don't know, like, oh, let's see. Don't give your kids hair dryers while they're in the bathtub. Why? Because it's going to electrocute them. That's not safe. And if you're the type of parent that doesn't even want to... Doesn't even want to raise your own goddamn kid, but just does so anyway in the first place. I will say this right now. You are sorry excuses of a modern parent these days. Uh, at least parents, several of them, knows how to raise their kids, unlike you bastards! <sighs> okay. Uh. Overall, there shouldn't be a law on video games when mainly it's the parents' responsibility in the first place of buying that kind of content to their children. So seriously, there shouldn't be a law about this bullshit. I heard that they dropped the law. I heard on Wikipedia. I just gotta say, thank God. But I'm still pissed off with parents. Seriously. <sighs> T4 saying, have a nice day. Later.